All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to wire an LED. Uh, you can use this in your room or your car or wherever. Um, this is the basic setup. Uh, I've drawn the, drawn the circuit, and your three basic components are gonna be a battery, a resistor, and uh, an LED. <clears throat> um, first of all, I'm gonna talk a little, little bit about the LED. Uh, first of all, the LED is polarized, which means that uh, current can only flow uh, one direction through it. If you switch it, uh, it's not going to come on. Uh, in order to tell which side's positive and which side's negative, uh, you look at the legs. Uh, one should be longer than the other. The longer one is going to be your positive leg. So that longer leg is going to be this side right here. <clears throat> um, now, a LED uh, operates with a 0.7 uh, voltage drop across it, which means if you were to measure the voltage from this point to this point, uh, there would be 0.7. And, and that's where the resistor comes in. Uh, the resistor uh, resists or takes up uh, the remaining voltage uh, from the 9 volt battery. Okay, so <clears throat> this takes up enough voltage to where there's close to 0.7 right here. Uh, the resistor also acts as a current limit. So <clears throat> LEDs are rated in current, usually milliamps. I think this one's around 50 milliamps or so. Now, as long as you don't go over that that rating, uh, your LED will work fine. Otherwise, it'll just pop and it won't work. It'll just basically burn it up. Uh, so <clears throat> the resistor um, will set your 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 current. Uh, and to figure out what your current is, uh, we use Ohm's law, which is volts equals current times R, where I is, is the current in, <clears throat> in amps. Uh, and so what, what we do is we take, uh, let's see, we want to find the current, but we have uh, the volts and the ohms, or resistance. So what we do is we do some algebra on it, flip it around, blah, blah, blah. We get uh, voltage divided by resistance is equal to current. Okay, in this case, going to be nine volts over six hundred and eighty ohms equals that. <clears throat> All right, so I punched in the calculator, uh, and what we got is we got thirteen point two milliamps, which isn't over fifty, so uh, we should be good. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna wire it all up and see if it works. Okay, now that we've got uh, the battery hooked up, the red wire is the positive wire, and it's gonna go to the resistor, okay? And then <clears throat> the green wire, which is the negative wire, is gonna go to the negative uh, leg on, on, the, uh, on the LED. And then so when we connect the two right here, we should get, there it goes, turn it right off. Ta-da! And as you can see, it's burning brightly and it's not blowing up, which is good. All right. Uh, now for more practical use, what I've done is I've I've put a switch in the circuit um, because you probably don't want your LED on all the time. Uh, but you can put the switch anywhere in the circuit. I'll just give you a little positive uh, to the resistor, resistor, one side of the uh, of the switch, other side of the switch. Uh, to the LED and then to the green wire back to the battery. So we have a complete circuit. When I flip the switch, there it goes. It goes on, off, on, off. 